You're gonna place your trees in the ground, like so. And we're gonna see what happens when lightning strikes. The other day I had a student say, man, it's really nice to take a break from TV, all right? And you get to see that spark in their eye. Every year when you hit the fifth grade in Whittier Elementary, you get to go on a three-day trip up to Cowood. It's an overnight trip, and you get to learn about bacteria and trees and stuff like that. It's like this sleepaway camp where you get to learn about nature with all your classmates, and I've heard it's supposed to be super fun, so I'm excited. We have a very wide range of students from various socioeconomic statuses. Some of our students go camping regularly and spend their weekends in the mountains. And some of our students have never sat around a campfire and some of them have never gone hiking. And for a lot of them, this is their first overnight away from their home. Without fail, they're always really excited, but they're also always really nervous. All this, this was just like a dream for me and my wife. Cowood has been around since 1982. It was built in 81, but opened for schools in the fall of 1982. I met my wife here in 89. I came here as an intern from Mexico. I was supposed to be here just for a year, which I did, but I was invited to come back. Two years later, we got married, and the reception was here at Cowood. So this is a really special place. It's more than just a job for me. It's just, uh, it's home. So the mission of Cowood is to connect kids and families to the mountains. More specifically, low-income students are for people who may not be able to come up to Cowood on their own or experience the outdoors on their own. We work with the richest private school in Boulder, but we also work with the poorest school in Commerce City. So it's important to bring all kids. When you come to Cowood, you just feel like part of something bigger than yourself. And since you get to experience that together, it's just, there's just something that's very meaningful about it. The trail we're on right now is called Hay Bunk Trail. What do we know about grasshoppers? What group of animals do they belong in? Insects. I want the kids to experience nature and get connected with the outdoors. So this is called Silver Sage. See how silver the leaves are? The program that we run for each school is unique. We work with the teachers individually to figure out what they might be learning in the future, what they've already learned, and then we put together a tailored program for each school. We ask them to focus on fire ecology and also climate change, partly because it ties into our science standards, but also because it starts to give them ideas and inspiration for ways that they can positively change their community. This candle jar represents your lungs. Fire ecology is my favorite. So as I close this jar, you're gonna close your mouths after taking a deep breath and see if you can hold your breath longer than this candle. It's so important in this day and age in Colorado, we have so Two. many mega fires. One. <gasps> the frequency is much higher, the acreage burned is much higher. <sighs> I like to give them the education for understanding how these things are happening. Look, is this tree still alive? Yeah. All right. This is how it survives, right? We lost half of our property, 600 acres, from the fire two years ago. The fire hit and Raphael and the instructors and I were like, oh man, this is it for Calwood. But that is giving us an opportunity to turn Calwood into a wildfire research center. So we are including a lot of fire ecology into our programs. It was so thick that you couldn't breathe very well outside. And I could see the fire coming up the hill. Are, are you gonna keep telling the story? Do you want me to? Yes! yes. Can we walk and do it? All right. They get this block of wood with holes, and we ask them to create a forest that will handle a fire. And they see how the fire behaves. So the goal here is to create a forest that will not burn. But half of the forest that the kids create burn, and they understand why. Within four hours, the fire is moving so fast because of what variable? 
I saw smoke in Longwood because I lived yeah, there years ago. I yeah. what the hope is that their experience does give them a little more knowledge about how nature works and how we are involved in that process. It's not man versus nature, it's man and nature together. And I feel like we do get that across to the kids by the time they leave. When we come to Calwood and share these experiences together, then we can take all of that back to our lessons. So even though we can't be outside all the time at school, we can refer back to what we saw at Calwood when we're doing experiments or when we're teaching lessons so that they can build on what they gained at Calwood. Once upon a time in a nursery rhyme. Once upon a time in a nursery rhyme. That campfire experience and when we're all chanting together and sharing those memories together. I said a boom, I said a boom. It just like leaves a little fire in your soul. I said a boom, I said a boom. One day they were walking in the woods and talking. The confidence piece that they get from being at Calwood helps them feel connected to the outdoors. I definitely feel closer to the planet here. It's just it's crazy what Mother Nature can make. They show up in their whitest sneakers and leave in our dirtiest hiking boots. They're singing campfire songs from the night before. They want to come back. They have the confidence to maybe go out with their families and go camping on their own. The feeling that kids get the most out of being here at Calwood is a sense of comfortability in the woods. That's something we try to foster, and I think we do a really good job at it. I think that's the magic of this place of having a place like this for kids. We just need to give them a chance to explore it naturally, and the magic happens. I loved everybody, like the counselors were great, everybody was just great. It was really fun because we got to hike all around. Not really sure how to explain it, but it's just different out here. <laughs>